Hi everyone, it's Rosemary Maris from Maris Art. Um, I thought today I'd show you how to make this triple pocket. So there's a pocket there, a pocket there and a pocket there. And I'm going to make this a tuck spot with a little tag in. And then when I glue it on the page, I'll have another pocket here. Um, I saw someone make it and thought, oh, that's easy. So it's just folded basically. So <clears throat> what I did first of all, I've done some of it so you don't have to sit and watch me doing all sorts of things. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. It's one of um, Tim Holt's, um, what's it called? Wallflowers paper. And what I've done to make it fit my book, I tried doing it 12 by 12 and it was too much. So across here, it's nine inches. And then all you do is fold it over like that. So you fold it in half that way. And then you fold it in half this way. And this is what's going to be glued to the back page. And then what you do is you fold this down level with this corner this line here and then you fold the next one down however much space you want in between and then you fold the next one down now why I've got this little square at the corner is because when I did the paper you can see the writing here is sort of skew if here it was upside down so I didn't like it I've just covered it up you don't need to do that if yours isn't worrying you the other thing I've done is I've um, distressed it with vintage photo all the way around the flaps and all the way around the edge of it here. And also because this was a bit white here, I've gone and put some vintage photo in there as well. And then what you do is you just tuck this in there and you tuck that one in there. If you wanted a different look, I quite like these sort of little shapes here. What you can do is just <clears throat> fold them over the other way. Like that. And then you have a smooth lot. And of course, if I did that, I'd have to antique all the corners. But I don't need to because I'm doing it the other way. So... <clears throat> you go there, you go there, and you go there. Now what you do, because I'm leaving this as a, um, a little tuck spot for a tag, so all I need to do is glue along here. I'm using this three-in-one that came when I ordered two bottles of Fabri-Tac, uh, this came and I don't like it but I'll use it up so a little bit of glue along that edge we'll now leave that open as a tuck spot <clears throat> then you need to glue along here unless of course you want to leave that as a tuck spot too but I don't and then you need to glue here. You're gluing down all of those little tabs like that. Well, how is it? It's very dull here today and it's pyjama day. <laughs> so I'm crafting in my pyjamas. So then you do a line of glue along here for that little tab, a line of glue along here for that little tab, and a line of glue along here for that one. I have this old toweling thing to wipe off any glue. I found that this sort of rough edge, because the glue is like a rubbery type glue, 
it, um, it, it rubs it off. Might just put a clip on that to hold them there while they're drying. Might just put a clip on that as well to hold them there. Right, so this here, I've made this little thing like that. I was going to cut it off there, but then when you line up all the other things that are going in the pockets, it looks quite nice. So I've left it with the um, pointy corners. So all I've done is, this again is from that Tim Holtz paper. This is from... This beautiful book, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, and all I've done is gone around the edge with the ink, sewn around it, and backed it onto this um, card. Oh, missed a bit of the thing there. Oh, it's because it's, I'm thinking it's a card that you pull out. But I didn't ink it there because it's going to be stuck down there. So then I've put one of these little light bulb things on with a leaf hanging off it. So again, <clears throat> I might just measure that. So I need it about there. And I need it about there. And then from here. I have to make sure that this little thing here is going to lie nice and flat. Uh oh, if it lies that way, that'll be the wrong way round. So we will have it that way. Bring that down a little bit. Good. Might just put a little tiny clip on that because it's thick. It wants to pop up. There we go. And then I've made this little tag, little stamp bird. This is the paper that matches the pages I'm going to put in. That'll pop in there. And then this one, which is, this is the fabric from the cover. And it's got a nice little thing on it. Again, I've just antiqued all around the edges and then sewn it round with a straight stitch. Glued this with fabric tack And that will go in, in there when it's glued to the page. So that'll just stick out as a little tab. And then I've made these three little cards, again from that paper, Tim Holtz wall flowers, and then inked it around, sewn them around, inked the back and put a little bird on it. So they fit in like... That. And then this one will go in the next pocket. I have to take that off. It will go in the next pocket, like. Go on, see. Like that. And then this one will go in the last pocket. me I'll have to have them all lined up <laughs> beautifully like that 
And there you go. That looks so cute. And then it will look like this when it's glued to the page. So I hope you found that useful. Just a little quick little pocket you can make. Of course, if you want to make it so that you paper clip it in or you put it in with one of these clips, then what I would do is decorate the back of it so it looked really pretty.